Start with some opening comments from Coach. Okay, as, uh, as always, it's great to win. Uh, I'm never going to stop saying that Division One football games are hard to win. I'm proud of the kids. They were prepared. They were ready to play again. Their preparation was good this week, especially when you talk about starting school. There's some uh, possible distractions. And I also want to say I think our scout teams have done a tremendous job. You know, there's another 35, 40 plus young men that uh, are on there on the sidelines with us on those days. But their their game days are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and um, they're putting their heart and soul into it. So I'm proud of those kids, and it's obviously it's, it's making us better to give us a chance to execute at a high level. So those kids never get noticed. Overall, um, positives, defense ran the ball. We were worried coming into this game, getting speed and space with an athletic quarterback, and they had some athletic kids. I thought we tackled well. Um, we ate up the grass when we needed to and gave us an opportunity to swarm the football. Uh, the first play kind of set the tone with the, uh, with the big hit on the uh, reception and picked up the fumble. So that was, that was a positive. I thought the defense overall was solid all day long. Um, offensively, the highlight that comes to me, and we've got to see more of it, um, is the two-minute drill. Uh, that was huge for us. We backed up, get out, and get backed up, number one, and number two, then continue down the field and uh, execute at a high level in a two-minute drill. And that's uh, that's difficult to do. And uh, we were able to get that done. So on the flip side of that, we ran the ball extremely well. And again, we showed that we can uh, we have three very good backs, very good offensive linemen. Nine of those kids got to play today. A tight end's blocked well. And our ability to uh, you know pitch it and catch it it's not very good, so, so we have to improve the throw game. And uh, if we don't, it's gonna it's gonna bite us here pretty quick. So uh, the special teams, kickoff team, drastically improved. You saw some new faces. They seem to have a little bit of an identity about themselves today, and excitement to play. I thought the kickoff return team, you know, limited opportunity was so it was kind of a non-factor. Punt was kind of a non-factor. A punt return had some. Nice returns, got ourselves moving down the field, a couple you know, penalties that we've got to take a long, hard look at, make sure that we're putting the kids in the right position, coaching the right. I can't see them to see if I um, look at the call, just you know, educate our kids on those are big plays. We've got to try to stop that, the hold on the sidelines, um, and the uh, obviously the push in the back on the, on the punt return. So fairly clean overall, um, but we've got plenty to work on, trust me, and uh, our kicking uh, needs to improve. We've got mics on each side of the room today, so you can flag one like that. Gary, you weren't born the last time this program had back-to-back -back shutouts. What did, what did you learn about this defense today that maybe you didn't know about it going into the game? Uh, gee, so it was only 30 years ago that happened then? <laughs> uh, no, it was, uh, they, they prepared great both times. And, you know, it's, it's, again, it's going to get tougher, we all know that. But, you do is play the people in front of you. I thought that uh, Tennessee Tech gave us uh, a bunch of different looks and different things that we need to be prepared for, and we handled it. And so did UMass and Bottom Lines, we handled it both times. So it's a great opportunity. It's hard to shut people out. I'm proud of the kids. They should be excited about that because, again, that's hard to do. It's very difficult to get that done. Yeah. Gary, you mentioned the kickers. Has Kyle French put himself in a precarious situation with not hitting the ball as well as he needs to? Um, <coughs> Yeah, we're just, it just is, uh, you know, I kind of feel the same way I felt about the kickoff team, I would say, a week ago. It just doesn't seem unclean, and it's just not crisp. And we just, we, we got to continue to improve. And it all starts with me. I'm not pointing fingers at any kid. I'm not pointing fingers at any assistant coaches. I've got to find a way to help him and, and get him where he needs to be. And uh, sometimes the best way to help people is, is uh, create competition for them. So that's what we'll do. And uh, there will be a, a competitive effort to uh, see where it goes through the week. And, We'll continue to work with both young men. We just need to you know, progress. We've got to get better. We're going to get in a position where we're going to have to make those kicks. And uh, a lot of PATs today in the field will try, but uh, most of the PATs just didn't, you know, it's just not that clean uh, sound of the kick and everything that comes with it to me. So we're going to work on it. Gary, there's a stretch where Joel went through the 13 straight passes after he threw the interception. Do you feel like you have to live with some of those ups and downs with a young quarterback? No question. There's going to be. Any young player, you're going to live with ups and downs, and it's just magnified when you're at the quarterback position. And um, Joel's coming around. I, I would say this: uh, that there was times when the, the leadership uh, appeared to be even better today than it has been uh, throughout camp and last game. I was proud to see that. You know, he made a mistake and he threw the ball in the wrong spot. It's the ones where they're wide open, and you know, we've got to get some of those cleaned up. And he's moving in the right direction. Uh, they got a good crew of quarterbacks over there that work well together. Continue to expand as we move forward. Tom, uh, what have you learned about this 
two, two games, and how do you factor it or weigh it against the kind of competition level? Well, yeah, like I said, uh, where we've challenged them to get better, I, I believe we have for the most part, and that's always a, a good sign. Um, they appear to like to play the game of football, and I would almost say love to play the game of football uh, for the most part, which is great to see. Young kids are obviously paying attention when you see an opportunity for them to walk out and play uh, on a Saturday, first reps, and, and they can execute and actually communicate and make plays and, and do some good things on the offensive and defensive side. So uh, I know it's a very powerful senior class. It means a lot to these kids. Wisconsin football, Badger Nation means a lot to that senior class and, and the rest of the kids on the team. But they're, they're, they're a, a powerful group of young men, and I think we're all bought in. And, as a family at this point, it's never perfect, but you know, we're, uh, we prepare like crazy, and I think we're, uh, we're all in the same we're all in the same boat right now, which is great to see. And Gary, you touched on it briefly, but, uh, but the, the two minute drive that you guys had before you know, the first half, can you just talk about what that meant for you guys to have that kind of drive uh, execute the way you did? I know you spent a lot of time in that during fall camp. Yeah, you know our, our defense throws a lot of different looks at you in the two minute drill. We did it a couple times again this last week, and again, I just say it was. Uh, that was a big step uh, for our offense, for the confidence of the kids in the huddle, for the quarterback, for the coordinator, for myself. When you can go down and execute that, it's, uh, it's great to see. And there was a lot of people involved in that two-minute drive, too, which was nice. You know, there wasn't panic on the sidelines. Uh, we had three timeouts left, which always helps when you're in those situations because you kind of uh, can play at a little different pace when you know you have those in your pocket. But it was, uh, there was a calming, calming feel uh, in the two-minute drill which is nice to see as offense. You mentioned Joel's leadership, but is it tough to gauge his game management considering the opponent and how you guys have blown out two teams in the last two games? Well, I think early it's not. You know, when, it's, uh, when the game is in balance, um, you, you try to really critique that harder than anything. Um, and the way he adjusts in the game and makes some adjustments, he seems very calm on the headsets. and. Kirk gives him good, valuable information. Obviously, Coach Ludwig's given him a lot of good, valuable information. And um, I, I think he's grown in two games, but we're really not going to know how much he's grown until we continue to move forward. But I'm, I'm proud of the progress. You know, I'm not a patient guy, and maybe that's why I was a lineman. Maybe that's why I was a defensive guy. Um, I have a hard time being patient sometimes, so I need to take a step back and you know, I tell myself to zip my lips sometimes and just uh, let the quarterback coach and the offensive coordinator handle it. Opportunity in the last two games to see a lot of your defense, to see a lot of personnel. Have you seen a lot of drop off? Is there a great deal of drop off in your from your ones to your twos? If one would think that the two shutouts that you've had an opportunity to, to gauge that. By position on the front seven, um, the defensive line, the two outside linebackers, you know, the, the, the D line is very solid two deep, and you can see that because they're or on the two deep. I mean, those kids are all going to play, and um, feel very good about that. There's. Uh, it was good to see the outside linebackers get out there to see Joe and, and Beagle get out and play today. We'll have to evaluate that, that, that see are they playing like Ethan and BK? No, but I think they've you know, pushed the, the level of play up. Um, you know, Chris Borland is one of a kind. I've said that many times. I always take the opportunity to say he is the best linebacker in the country, in my opinion. So there's a major drop off if he's not in there. Um, but you know, Ethan had the opportunity. You know, Landish in his situation, Ethan came back in, learns the defense. Um, the back end on defense, the young corners, uh, with you know, three or four corners we feel good about. And after that, there's there's a drop off. And the safeties have filed like crazy. The third and four safety is up in the air. You know, I mean, there's some kids that came there today and got their first reps at safety, and, and they're fighting for special team spots to get on the plane and go to Arizona State with, uh, with that youthfulness in the safety position. Gary, the play that Gordon scored on the 37-yard touchdown run around left end. On that play, Adamson comes on because I guess he threw a shoot. I don't know if you think it's easy or not, but look, you guys switched every position except for center. He's a former offensive lineman. Is that easy to do to pull off, or how do you explain that? No, uh, not easy to do at all. And again, I, I look at the, I want that's the identity that I hope these kids are getting. Is we only need the guys we got because that's all we got, and they've done a great job of doing that. And, um, to be able to flip flop that fast, we <coughs> practice like that. You know, it's mm -hmm. not like we we don't take five minutes of practice and you know, work on moving in and out of who's going to be in the game, but they know who's up next, and it was a simple, clean, easy procedure, and, and away they went. So um, I don't know if he blew a shoe or didn't tie it right or where it was, but uh, I was glad to see the play went away from him instead of coming at him without a, a shoe on. But uh, it was a good job of the only one. Gary, you said a tough decision to 
Barton in the fourth quarter in another situation where Kurt said, let Bart go in? You know, uh, no, there was no conversation at all between Kurt and I on that. And I don't think there really needed to be. Kurt is, I have no question on my Kurt's game ready. Um, he'll come in and, and when we need him, which uh, at some point uh, I'm sure it's going to happen and get us in a spot to where we walk in there and, and be ready to play. So those those reps are just valuable for Bart. And, you know, we got to you know, be through a couple of passes, one or two, and that's how you're going to do that and just get all the run checks. Our run game is so much checked at the line of scrimmage that those are valuable reps for him. Right. Coach, considering the outcome, are the red helmets going to make an appearance again this season? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll let the, we'll let the kids be involved in that and uh, we'll break them out on the road, I'm sure, at some point and um, you know, learn a couple more times. So excited about it. I thought that it was a good luck today. So. What's what good on what they discussed today? Did you say it again? Yeah, what they discussed today? Yeah, what they discussed I just, what stood out is, I guess, what kind of did it stand out. You know, he did a good job. It was. Uh, he obviously was doing his job. The run game was moving around very well. They were very aggressive on the way they were, uh, you know, attacking us early in the run game with the, with the uh, all the backs uh, going low and doing some things, which is that's fine. That's that's football. Uh, but I thought he was he was solid. Uh, the one time he went, I think he won the ball and won, and uh, ended up throwing it to so, But it was uh, it was a good it was a good opportunity for him, and it's another example of a young man that had prepared himself throughout camp. Worked hard to get in the moment and took advantage of it. Yeah, here you mentioned the three backs, but Gordon was out for a long time. Was he a little bit dinged? Did you guys hold him up? Is it me? Just, no. Just wanted to get Clement with him. Yep, I think uh, Melvin had. There was nothing for me that uh, that we didn't believe that Melvin had anything wrong with him. He was ready to go, and I think that uh, you know James has been here for so long. That substitution going through there, it is, it is his senior year, and uh, I told Corey on the one, if he gets within the five yard line. You've been in there for a couple snaps. And the game's still in the balance. You can bet that uh, Coach Hamlin's probably going to put James back in there like he gets touched enough because he's, he's probably had that happen to a few times in his career, I'd imagine. So they were worried. They seemed all healthy and happy in the locker room. Gary, what is the ceiling for this backfield? Uh, who knows? I hope greatness. You know, they played very well for two games. And they can, we can stay healthy up front. And the Titans can continue to do what they're doing. They, they all have vision. They, they are different. They complement each other. So we'll we'll see as it moves forward. And I'm, I'm just proud of the way they've handled it. And uh, we're only two games now. You know, there's, there's a lot of football out there to be played. So we'll see how we're talking in a few weeks. But uh, they take a lot of pride in running football. And so does the whole offense. Gary, you talked a couple times the last few weeks about how the offense has to clean certain things up moving forward to, to probably you know get to where they need to be against better competition. How do you evaluate the defense that way based on what you've seen and where you think they can go? Well, I think one thing is we're going to get stressed down the, down the field. The ball's going to be down the field in the next game for sure. And that's going to be uh, something we haven't seen a lot of. So we've reacted well when it's happened. And the coverage today down the field was, was pretty good. Even when they caught the ball, I thought we were rallying and tackling physically. And it wasn't a lot of yards after the catch. So uh, it's still a young secondary. It's going to be challenged as we move forward, and so that was one thing that we tried our best to create it in practice. You know, that's why we split practice and go to the indoors so we can throw a ball down the field as far as we need to. Um, so this will be a, a big question as we move forward for defense. Gary, on your team, you haven't faced much adversity in the first two games. Is that concern you had in the couple of games? Um, no, I prefer to win going away every single time and deal with adversity when it comes our way. Uh, we talk about adversity all the time. It's something we believe we're prepared for. And how we're going to handle it when it uh, comes our way, we will see that there will be, you know, there's always going to be adversity. And I think the key is just to understand that there will be. And it doesn't matter what happens to us. We talk about it all the time, just being steady. No matter how good it is, no matter how bad it is, no matter what happens, you just got to stay steady because this is a, a competitive, tough, hard nosed game that uh, you are going to be faced with adversity and how you react in those moments it will probably be the telltale sign of everybody's season. And Clement's long touchdown run, that second part. Did you see AJ? I did. Yeah, I'm really rough. I was going to say, you got to highlight that. Yeah. And no, I, yeah, absolutely. That's a, I told him that already. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, be a, that'll be a highlight. Uh, when you see kids play with that intensity and that want to, to go help a teammate, especially. And uh, you know, AJ's battling. AJ was involved in special teams today. I saw him on a couple of those special teams. He was involved in that, that moment there. And it's good to see him you know, do some things in a positive way because he's worked hard. Jared Everett 
years and, and on returns you used to once to me. What's your feeling going forward with, with that? Are you going to let anyone continue to return funds or is that Kenzel's job? Yeah, um, Jared is really the guy that will go in there a lot of the times in, in safe situations. I feel very good about him both catcher, but Jared had caught so few um, that uh, we want to at least get him you know, sort of a little bit in a, in a game situation. But that was a safe situation. Uh, wish he would raise his hand in the air and just dealt with it at that point. But he's so competitive, he, he wants to use every opportunity to get a yard if he can. But I feel very good about both of them catching punts wherever they are. Coach. Uh, has Connor O'Neill been one of those guys who's seizing an opportunity just because he hasn't got many snaps on deep? He's been mainly a special teams guy for a lot of years. Yeah, Connor is, and, and he did that in, in spring. He did that in camp. He wrapped his arms around a new scheme. He's a smart young man, and it, it's it's good. To, it's it's really good for us because with Landish and O'Neill, it, it gives you you know three inside linebackers, and then Trotter being the fourth, and then Ethan kind of being the fourth slash fifth. So. That's where we're at, but to have him come in today and play the way he did, and, uh, he's waited a long time for that opportunity, and he took advantage of it. Has there been any, any update on Derek Landish as far as his injury and when he'll be back, maybe? Uh, I would suspect sooner or later, but uh, it's kind of you know, day by day. But I, would, I would think I mean, since Thursday when we walked off the practice field until Monday, uh, he'll have some big improvements, but uh, we're still a ways away at the end. Just one last thing on Scott, Gary. When you look back on this game, what will be more notable, the interception you threw or the way he responded to it with 13 straight conversions? Um, I would say definitely the way he responded to it, uh, without question, because he did respond. And the quarterback is, you're going to throw a pick. You're going to make a bad decision. It's going to happen. And it's part of the process. And I think the challenge is, is that you just can't use the youth card. You know, you can't just say, well, he's young, so that's OK, because it's not. I mean, it's, it's not, it's not okay for anybody to make mistakes. And, but for him to bounce back and kind of let it roll off his back, it's kind of like a corner. You know, catch a ball, catch a fade ball on you, or a touchdown, or whatever it may be, we've got to go on and play again. And so for him to be able to you know, stand up and do that, for his teammates to be able to come in the night and say, okay, let's go, let's get this thing done, um, is, is a, big, big, a big moment. And I hope it uh, plays out that it will be a big moment as we go through the rest of the season. we got time for two more. Uh, Coach, I know this fall was a little colder probably than you might have liked heading into Arizona next week. What do you think of the guys' conditioning in this sort of hot weather situation? Yeah, it's uh, we, we've had limited game reps in some certain spots, especially with the defensive line and the offensive line. have not really had limited game reps. I feel good about them and the offense moving in because they've been had some long drives. They've ground people out, so I feel good about that. The defense had a few more subs on the front. Um, the corners seem to be in good shape. The safety is the same. Um, I suspect it's going to be you know, 95 degrees or so, and uh, the sun's going to be down. Um, I don't expect the was it your perception that the Tech was going to provide greater challenges to your defense than your first game? You just worry so much about the spread, and they, they have some talented kids. And if you watch that, that uh, game last week, they they have some bursts of speed that are really scary, and I suspect you're going to see that as they move through the season. So um, our ability to get off blocks, replace the blocks, and kind of eat up the grass was, was the difference in the kind of their option game in the read zone. So, um, yeah, that I was surprised in a good way with, with the way we ran the football and tackled as good as we did. Thanks, Coach. We'll